Hey, it's Earthcastle. 3D skyboxes can be tricky. It's hard to know where they should be, what the size ratio is, and how to make them look good. So I thought today I'd make a tutorial on how to make detailed 3D skyboxes in Hammer. To start off, make a box around the size of your map, using the skybox texture, and place it above your map. Placing it above your map won't always work, so if it doesn't, try to look at if it's too high, too low, too much to the side, and try to adjust the position from there. As a starting point, put in a floor and then place an entity in using the entity tool. Change this entity into a sky underscore camera. This is how the 3D skybox should look. A large flat open plane with nothing in it. For this example, I'll be making a detailed cityscape skybox. The best place to start is the ground. I'm going to make some small hills. To do this, turn the floor into a displacement using the displacement tool. To learn how to do this, click on the video in the top right. Then make some small hills. I will admit I should have split the brush into smaller sections, since it looks pretty pointy. If you're using a blend texture, you can add grass to the tops of the hills to make the depth more noticeable and to detail the grass. Then I added props. Props are a strange thing to put in a skybox, since the skybox amplifies everything by 16 times the size. Which is why there are custom models made specifically for skyboxes. When in the model browser, type in sky and you should get props that are sized to fit in a skybox. I added a few factories and other buildings. Adding props to the skybox can make it look so much better, just like having props in your level can. I also used some full scale rocks to create a giant stone mountain. Then I added the brushwork buildings. Similar to props, there are custom textures made to fit in skyboxes, which is what I'm using. And now it's done. Compared to what it was before, it looks amazing. 3D skyboxes can really give you a sense of scale compared to your map, and make for some really interesting backgrounds to your level. If you like this video, make sure to check out my other hammer related content, and that's all for now. See you.